I started sort of losing my mind. Um, that was down to my behaviours, and that behaviour was driven by my gambling. So once you, your mental health starts to unravel, um, it then kind of compounds into sort of more sort of gambling because this illness is always there for you and it will convince you that you're not losing your mind and the only way to you know get things back on track is by gambling and winning because when you do win on the odd occasion you're everybody's friend and you can then sort of act or try and act kind of normal but yeah they go they go hand in hand if you're not disciplined and you don't watch what you're doing and you go down the road that I went the gambling uh, disorderly in a disordered manner and mental health problems, they absolutely go hand in hand. When you, you, you go into GA, there, there's certain things you you know you commit to. I went home and I told my I told my partner everything. All the debts were outstanding. I phoned all of my creditors, told them that I was a gambling addict. Um, a lot of them didn't know what to do. I closed all of my online accounts. So that's just to start with. You then have to fill the void, and that's the hardest part. So those moments where you're gambling, now what are you going to do? Because if you're saying no to something, you've got to be saying yes to something else. And for me that was sort of exercise. For me that was involving myself in the family again, getting the love back from my family, feeling that love, feeling emotions again, getting involved. That was really, really important. And to this day, it's still those things. And in the early days, I was hanging on by my fingertips, trying to fill the void. I didn't know what to do. And one of the biggest sort of things I've got in my, my sort of toolbox today is my phone because I've got an army, I've got a network of help out there. If I'm having a bad day, then I can phone somebody. Luckily, I work in an organisation where I can look people in the face and say, you know, if I'm having a bad day and I'm struggling, and I can get that help because I work with fellow lived experience. Opening up, being able to talk, and having that help um, in my toolbox when I need it is probably the single biggest sort of help that I've, that I've got and I use to this day.